Oh my god. I have so much to ask, so much to learn, so much fascinates my eyes, but you? I shudder at the sight. Tell me, why am I here? What do you need? You Eddie Rex who defeated the school board, who increased enrollment and added the Froyo mission in the calf, save us from our plague leader, curse with budget cuts, increased classroom size, and Beaver fever! Save us, Eddie, if only the old dean were still here. Fear not, I sent the most trusted person I know to get a professor to fix this problem. Or you could make a new budget. No, that will never work. My liege, I have returned! I mean, what's up, bro? Um, I got that professor dude you wanted, but he'll be here in a minute. Your most trusted friend, a frat boy? Fraternity! Fraternity is a more artsy way of saying it, not uh, frat. Right. Would you allow me my esteemed colleague some alone time? Of course. Chris, what's wrong? You look totally out of it. Yeah, the old dean died around this time. And I'm getting like bad vibes, like his spirit is haunting the place like a ghost, you know? Mm -hmm. Maybe it's his fault that the budget crisis is happening. Maybe he's not at peace because we haven't found this killer! Um, oh, hi, excuse me. Um, sorry. I'm a journalist, for, and um, I was wondering if I could interview you with some questions about the recent budget cut. Fear not! I will grant your prayers! What? I will solve the Light Dean's murder, and in doing so, solve the budget crisis at the exact same time. Okay, I'm not really sure how that works. Professor Ty! Would you excuse me? We can interview at another time. Oh. Professor Ty, do come in. Do come in. Professor Ty, I'm so glad you came. You must be already aware of our current situation here. How terrible, how terrible to see the truth when truth is only pain to him who sees. I knew it well, but I put it from my mind, else I never would have come. What? Send me home. You bear your burdens, I'll bear mine. It's better that way, believe me. Huh? None of you knows. I will never reveal my dreadful secrets, not to say your own. Whoa, 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 do you know something here? If you do, I strongly suggest that you come out with it. If that's so, I charge you then. Submit to that decree you just laid down. From this day onward, talk to no one. Not these citizens, nor myself. You are the curse of the land. No Oblo Socrates! Dude, you killed the dean. <laughs> is, is this some kind of a joke? Did Chris put you up to this? Get out! Chris is not your downfall. No, you are your own. Get out! Chris, what the hell? Hey! Hey! We are going to use I statements to express how we feel. I think you're not hearing my side of it. I think I'm finding someone else to watch glee with. Okay, okay, hear me out. You never got the full details about the investigation. The one you suddenly blame me for? Look, everyone knows Professor Ty is a bit eccentric. The investigations revealed nothing except that he was hit by a car on March 14th. Is that all you know? Well, I know that he was ran over by a red Chevy, and the license plate number was O-E-D-D-Y-R-X. What color did you say the truck was? Red. Right. Well, I still don't trust you. Listen, bro. I can't believe I'm still calling you this, but you married my sister, so you're like my legitimate broski, and I would never do anything that would hurt her. Until you slipped that professor on me. Listen, okay, remember, I know all your deepest, darkest secrets. Well, I remember a certain time when someone was crying because they saw a shoe lying in the road. How dare you insult me? You know nothing about art. Cut it out, you two. You're making a very public scene. What is going on? <sighs> Joe, Eddie is accusing me of framing him for your late husband's murder. I have proof. What? My hunch. Eddie, listen to what Chris is telling you. You're just grumpy after a long day. Will a snack cheer you up? Eddie, be sensible. Listen to what she's saying. What are you still doing here? I'm just trying to establish the truth. Chris is your best friend. He would never intentionally do anything to harm you. Okay, but if anything goes wrong... I would never purposefully do that. Please, just don't allow your own misconceptions to cloud reality. Fine. Then I'll absolve Chris, but I still hate you. <gasps> whoa, whoa. Be careful before you go too far. 
Okay. And talk to me later when you're ready to apologize for hurting my feelings. What the heck is going on, you two? Look, I know Chris is your brother, but he is accusing me of your late husband's death. Sweetie, that's pure malarkey. Don't get carried away. I got carried away once. I called the psychic while pregnant with my late husband's child. The psychic told me the kid was doomed to kill his father and sleep with his mother. So I had a trusted professor take the child away to spare him of his fate. It would have been nice to have someone by my side when my husband died ten years ago. How long ago did you say he died? Ten years. I remember because that new Nora Jones album came out. Oh God. I owned a maroon pickup. God, what have I done? Eddie, tell me what's going on. Describe your late husband. Oh, I have a picture. Come to think of it, he kind of had your build. And your eyes. And your same nose. I always had a type. Look. This is, this is hard for me. When I was young, I dreamt that I would kill my dad and I'd sleep with my mom, so... I... I got away as soon as I could, I went to college, and when I, I just got so wasted, I... I didn't see him coming, and I, I hit a pedestrian. But I kept on driving because I was scared. We must send for this professor. Maybe he can help us with this. It's impossible, but... I will send for him just for you. Okay. What awful fate could be so terrible that even those who actively attempt to evade their destiny run straight into it? What are you still doing here? Eddie, great news! Your dad died! Oh, that's fantastic! It says he died fighting off grizzly bears, defending his... Canadian mistress, after suffering symptoms of a heart attack. Funerals on Thursday. Do you know what this means? I beat fate. I... Wait, do you think that there's still a chance I might sleep with my mom? Not while I'm here, there's not. You're right, as long as I'm with you, I'll never screw my mom. <coughs> yes. Eddie, I have some bad news. Oh, what is it? You're adopted. How? Your cop asked me for a favor, say, 28 years ago. That's how old I am. She won. Me to take the baby to some far, far away land. She said that she had some acid trip about her baby killing her husband. First time for everything. She, she told me to take the baby to some magical place and to San Francisco. Okay, well, that can't be me. I'm not adopted. Don't, do you have a bolt shaped tattoo next to the birthmark of the Mona Lisa? Yeah, how'd you know? Eddie, I just Googled you. You are adopted. They found you on their doorstep. They never told me that. We must find my parents. If those aren't my real ones, then- Eddie, then... no, it's not worth it. Joe, please, I have- No, Eddie, no! no! That's the end.